Uh, every second Wednesday, we host Penny Reedy from Pick a Local, Pick a Say. She is the communications manager for the SA Produce Market and the campaign manager for Pick a Local, Pick a SA. We have a guest in the show today, Joe Valelonga. Uh, we'll talk to him in a few minutes. But Penny, another fortnight has gone by, yet here we are. I know, so quickly. We love coming in here. We have a guest in the studio today. And um, so there's this amazing new juice that's on the market that's been imported from Italy. And I thought instead of me talking about it, let's hear from the person that's actually brought it into South Australia and find out from them. So um, with us today, we've got Jella, Va sorry, Jella, <laughs> Joe Vallelonga, you can tell I'm not Italian. <laughs> um, and he's here today to talk to us about this great new line that you'll find in your independent Pick a Local, Pick a Say stores. So it's an all natural, organic, cold pressed, Bergamo juice, 100% certified organic. So, Joe, first of all, what is a bergamot? And am I saying it correctly? You are bergamot juice. Yeah, so bergamot. So, essentially, bergamot is a citrus fruit um, grown on the Ionian coast in southern Italy, Calabria. Um, most probably at best 70 or 80 kilometers off coastal area, it grows. And it's along that coastline that we. E come si chiama in Italiano? Bergamotto. Bergamotto. Succhi di bergamotto. Succhi di bergamotto. Correct. Okay. So keep going. So it's a citrus fruit. I've got a lovely picture of it in front of me now. I hadn't really noticed it. Yep. Uh, a lot of it's been used as essential oils, which is very expensive. But now you've got it in a healthy, cold pressed cold juice. organic juice. Correct. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, the essential oil retails to anywhere $40, $50 for 10 mils. So super expensive. Yep. Um, whereas our juice, relatively expensive still, yes. but it's uh, highly potent, highly uh, concentrated. So what it is, it basically, out of this one litre, we just mix 100 mils in a glass of water and you get 10 times the amount of, of the juice. So you don't drink the whole bottle in one hit. Uh, so as Penny mentioned, all pick a local, pick a say stores. Um, and okay. yeah, um, good green grocers and independent supermarkets. Yeah. Joe, what um, are some of the benefits of yeah. drinking okay, Like excellent. Why, why should people be drinking right, it? How often do you drink it? Can you drink too much? No such thing. <laughs> No such thing. So I was just about to hit on that. Once it's diluted into 100 mils with a, a glass of water, all the health benefits remain. Okay, so it's very important to think, oh, it's diluted, it's going to enter the nutrients, whatever. Not true at all. So um, bergamot, uh, just, it's an all-rounder. So from, it's important to understand it's the most highest vitamin C citrus fruit that exists. Good to know. Anywhere in the world, right? Keeps so, colds away. Exactly right. So from colds, it builds immunity, high in antioxidants, um, reduces cholesterol, increases uh, good levels of... Um, Cardiovascular, um, anything to do with cardiovascular, heart, liver function, it's all been medically proven that it's, 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 in Italy, they take in cannabis as a medicine. Yeah. So it's, it's an all rounder. Um, as well as that, I mean, you know, I've sent it away to cafes, restaurants as a mixer for bars, um, cooking, cocktails, cocktails um, it gets re reduced into a syrup yep. for pancakes. So it's, it's a very diverse product. And you do also have a ready mix one as well. So it comes in a one litre that you need to mix it. There's also a ready Correct. mix that you've mixed with a few different Yeah, yeah. So we've got well. four other little lines that aren't as uh, popular, so to speak, yet. But basically, so we've got uh, four 200 mil uh, different uh, variants. Bergamot and, oil, uh, bergamot and water. Bergamot and water with organic cane sugar. And we've got bergamot and mandarin. And bergamot and orange. So all products are all produced in-house from the same farm. Okay. Um, all certified organic, and even the cane sugar is organic cane sugar that we... Yeah, I saw that on your little fly here. I'll do the giveaway, because we've got some uh, sponsors to go to, but let's fire away with the giveaway. Yeah, so what we've got today, Joe has brought in 12 one litre bottles, which is very, very generous. So we would love very, for very someone generous. to share it with their friends and let them try it, give it a go, um, you know, see how they like it. So what we're going to do today is, uh, you know, it's valued at over $260 and it's donated, and we're asking where is it imported from? I don't think that's going to be a hard one for our listeners, but, you know, call in and uh, have a guess. What country does this juice come from? Adesso we are back with uh, Joe Vallelonga and Penny Reedy, and we have two winners today. We've done a first and a second prize. Yeah, that's great. So Rosa was their first caller through, so she's going to get a selection of those juices to try and uh, share them out with their friends. Perfect. And then uh, Angelo called through, and we're going to give him some of them as well. So Perfect. look forward to that. Rosa too. said thank you to you and your guests. Uh, she looks forward to receiving that and trying that with her family. Um, it's a great thing. And both of them answered it, not even just Italy, but both with the correct answer of Calabria. So Joe was very happy with that too. Allora. So now, market summary. What's happening in the market? It's All a great right, time to be yeah. shopping for fresh fruit and vegetables, as it is always. Always.
way. But what's in season? I know, and it's summer, and it's going to be hot this weekend, and people are going to be looking for fruits and even uh, platters. And don't yeah. forget, your yeah, Pick a Local Pick SSA store are great at doing platters, or if you want your fruit oh, chopped up for good. you or whatever, that's a, you know, the bonus of shopping into an independent fruit and veg store that they really look after you and happy to do that customer service. So don't be sh shy to ask them to chop the pineapple up if you don't know oh, how to do it, okay. or the yep. watermelon if you want a smaller size, or if you're after a platter, lots of stores do them as well. So what's in season? There are a heap of pineapples around at the moment. Pineapples, pineapples, pineapples <laughs> everywhere. I know they're not South Australian, but they've hit the South Australian market floor and there is an absolute abundance of supply for them. So look out for the Aussie Gold variety. They're a great one. And there's also a variety called the Oz Festival that has a hint of coconut flavouring to it. So this, uh, this pineapple range can be found in Fruit Lovers Market at Kilburn, Harndorf, Stirling, Metro Fresh, North Adelaide, Full and Fresh. Give it a try and see if you can pick the little bit of coconut flavour that comes through uh -huh. from that Oz Festival Pina Colada uh, pineapple. Give okay. that one a go. Okay. Um, also on, on your fruits, we've got grapes. There's increased supply of Australian grown varieties in at the moment. Red Glow, Crimson Flame, Midnight Beauty and Medindi. They're coming from Queensland and Victoria. Um, I personally haven't eaten a banana for a very long time. It doesn't I normally... I did yesterday. <laughs> there seems to be so much other fruits going around. Yeah. But there are a lot of Cavendish bananas and we have spoken about bananas before as well. And be sure to ask your local store if they're locally ripened. So uh -huh. uh, we had a whole discussion about yes, this last year about how, you know, some big supermarkets were taking the ripening facilities interstate, into Victoria. But we want to keep those jobs in South Australia. We, we would prefer to have our bananas ripened in South Australia so always ask for locally ripened bananas lots of stone fruits around the Riverland still giving us great supply of all your your summer um, stone fruits citrus as well from the Riverland we've got Valencia mm -hmm. coming through marsh grapefruits and lemons we've seen on the market floor some passion fruits from Queensland Beautiful. so if you're looking for them to put on your pavlovas or whatever for the weekend look out for that and it's just melon season, anything melon, watermelons, rock, rock melons, melon. candy yes. melons, you know, you name it, there are plenty of melons around. Yeah, vegetable vegetables. Yeah. So, yeah, tropical fruit season, plenty coming from Queensland. But on the vegetable front, we're still growing pretty strong in South Australia. We've got some great lines that are coming through. Um, as you know, we grow a lot of these lines in the northern Adelaide Plains and we have lots of uh, Italian growers out there that we Perfect. love to yes, support. We do. So on the vegetable front, we've got plenty of continental and Lebanese cucumbers. We've also got apple cucumbers that are coming through in good quality, good supply at the moment. Um, flat continental beans, you're going to get plenty of them around and they're tasting really great. Purple eggplants are still in good supply as well. Now the broccoli and collie has been a little bit in supply this week, but one thing that we did uh, introduce last fortnight was that the sweet brock is now available. Yeah. So that's the hybrid between a broccoli and a broccolini. Um, we actually visited the grower this week, uh, in the last week, and uh, we took a, a barbecue out into his field and we cooked <laughs> up some sweet brock in the middle of Gawler River growing fields. It was great. And all he did was just chuck it on the barbecue, a little bit of olive oil, a bit of salt on it, put the lid down on his Weber Q and left it for about five minutes. And it's a really sweet tasting broccoli, though, so the head's mm. really quite sweet. And the leaves crisp up like a kale chip, and it was great. I mean, it was such a fun thing to do, to be in the middle of the field um, eating this, this cooked stuff. So you're starting to see it in stores now. So we're, like I said, it's brand new line being grown in South Australia for the first time. Um, as of today, there's actually 24 dredge supermarkets that are stocking this line. So you won't okay. find it in your big supermarkets, uh -huh. but you will find it in your independents. So 24 dredge stores are now stocking it from Old Dinga, Anglevale, Golden Grove, North Haven, Victor Harbour and Wayville. Um, and we have that, that video clip that I was talking about of us uh, in the field with Anthony is on the Pick a Local Pick SA YouTube channel. So if you okay. want to have a look at how easy it is to cook this new line. and. It's just great to have a new line that's first time grown in South Australia and to be able to support a, uh, a, 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 a you know, a Gawler River grower. So, so have a look for that sweet brock. And, and lastly, on the vegetables, we've got plenty of Australian grown garlic. So ah, quite yes. often we have to import our garlic. Yep. Um, but at the moment, it's Australian grown. So uh, stock up on your garlic. It's, it's locally grown and a great way to support um, the Australian horticultural industry. Penny, we look forward to seeing you again in a couple of weeks' time. Yes. 
Yes, absolutely. Thank you for having us again. Um, you can keep up to date with all the Pick a Local Pick a Say news on our Facebook or our YouTube channel. And um, we look forward to coming back in two weeks. Bye. Cool bananas. Oh. <laughs>